what is up guys and welcome back to the channel so today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to install a fish finder uh, so we just went and picked up our new boat and I wanted to put a fish finder on it and there isn't any information on this uh, for this particular boat uh, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you guys how to do it alright guys so first things first uh, you're going to want to uh, measure all this out before you go purchase a fish finder because I was looking at getting a bigger one and realized that it would not fit underneath the windshield here um, as you can see I already uh, did the install for it um, but I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it uh, because it was raining when I installed it so didn't want the camera out in the rain um, so we picked up this uh, hummingbird helix 5 and uh, basically first thing you're gonna do is as you can see there is nowhere under here for you to uh, get into the uh, center console or anything um, so the way I went about it is you will take out all of these screws here uh, for the dash and then uh, once I get that out then I'll show you guys the next part all right so first things first you're gonna take all these screws out here um, that will be able to pull all your gauges out and then it's gonna open up down here so now you can be able to, to see what you're gonna be working with uh, first thing you're gonna want to do is find a good place uh, for where you want to mount it um, after that you want to look underneath uh, ensure there's nothing down there that you're going to be uh, drilling into and nothing is in the way down there uh, so I went ahead and put it right here uh, just because I like to have it sitting here um, so first thing you're gonna do uh, you're gonna take this mount with the uh, hummingbird on it set it up kind of find a good spot where you want it to sit at once you find the correct spot lay some masking tape down over the area where you're going to be drilling and then you will come back put this where it's where you want it mark out all four of these holes and then you're going to mark out a center hole because you're going to drill a center one inch hole and then for these four screws I believe it was a 964th drill yeah 964th drill bit is what you use for these four holes and then the center hole and then once you get done with that drill the holes out pull the masking tape off and then you're going to run your two wires up through this hole put all four of these screws in and then uh, you have that all mounted up um, so the nice part about this boat was it comes uh, already with the pre-wiring for it with a 3 amp fuse that's in line uh, so all I had to do is find the wire that was uh, already sitting down here with just uh, two clamps on it and then I just crimped the wires the power wire to that and it was already hooked up so that was actually a lot easier um, the only other thing you're going to do is you're going to have to run this transducer wire. Um, so the best way to do that is you can see down here there's a hole down there that goes into this gunnel and then you'll be able to feed it uh, from here up into there and then run this wire right here, which is transducer wire, run that all the way back to there. And then you're going to run the wire through here and then out where the motor uh, where all the motor wires come from right in there so the transducers down there run that wire up through here and then you're going to pull it through here run it up along the edge uh, I still just got to zip tie it all up to these other wires here feed that through comes out right in here feed that back through there and then run it up into that uh, slot that's under the dash here and once you get it out from under the dash here you just run it up bring it up through your one inch hole that you have here and then you'll have your two wires once these two are pulled through then you can go ahead and secure this in place and then 
you go ahead and uh, hook it up uh, and ensure that everything works. So now that you're at this stage, you have your fish finder hooked up, you got the power cables plugged into it. Uh, so the next thing I'm going to recommend doing, take your master switch, flip it on, power this on, and make sure that it's going to turn on and run properly so you know that you have all of your power wires all hooked up, uh, your transducer wires hooked up. This way you can ensure that it's all working the way it's supposed to. And as you can see, uh, we're good to go. We have power. And uh, so at this point in time, you can go ahead and just put your gauges back in, screw this back in, and then we will go to the back of the boat to uh, finish up the transducer installation. All right, so now that we're finished up up there, uh, we're gonna come down here and do the transducer. Uh, so, the way they say they want you to do it is you need to uh, put it, ideal spot would be right there. Um, problem is I have a bumper that hangs off here, so when I put the boat on the trailer, uh, it'll just hit the transducer. Um, so we weren't able to put that there. Uh, so what you're gonna do is Find a good spot for it that is away from, you know, as far away from strakes and stuff like that. And you want it to be about 15 inches from the motor. Uh, when the motor's down, you want it to be about 15 inches away. Uh, for these fiberglass boats here, you're going to have a quarter inch gap from the smallest side. So that's right there. Uh, so you're going to measure out a quarter inch gap there. Ensure it's level and level on both sides. Once you're done doing that, same thing as up top. Put your masking tape on it down once you know where it's gonna be. Take your mount, lay it up there, ensure you got that quarter inch gap, ensure everything's level on both sides. And then you're gonna mark out your two side holes. Once you mark out your two side holes, then you're going to put some, you're going to put all three of these brackets together. So this slides into here. And then once you get done with that, then you can go ahead, you're gonna put in the first two, you're gonna lift this up, put the first two screws in. Um, once you do that, put some 4200 marine grade on there. And then you're going to take this piece, flip it back down so it's flush sitting the way it is right now. And then you're going to drill out your last screw hole right there in the center and then run that in there with some 4200 also. Uh, you're gonna wanna wait 24 hours for this to fully cure before you go put the boat in the water so that way you know you're not gonna be leaking any water in and it gives all this plenty of time to set up so it seals the boat up real good. Um, for me, this is the best place to put it because I didn't wanna put it all the way on the outside uh, so we put it here. And I've had no issues with it uh, being there as far as the fish finder working and everything. Um, it still picks up fish really relatively good So I've had no issues with it being positioned here um, And then the last thing you're gonna do is uh, put this little stake in um, so just biggest thing is Make sure you are a hundred percent set on where you're gonna put it before you start drilling the holes put masking tape down drill out your holes carefully and then go ahead and ensure that you put 4200 on and you have plenty of time for that to uh, cure so you don't have to worry about anything going wrong. Uh, the only other thing I did, instead of drilling more holes in the boat for the wire, I actually just got some flex seal tape and we have had the boat out twice now and it is still holding up good. Uh, if for some reason this stuff just doesn't hold up, then I'll go ahead and uh, drill some more holes and put actual uh, brackets on there to hold the wire down. But for now, that's working out good. Uh, so, biggest thing is just be sure before you do anything. Make sure that uh, you it is in the place that you want it to be, in the place it's supposed to be. Read the instructions. Uh, this is basically just a video just to kind of give you guys a better idea of where 
and how you can access uh, under the console because that's where you have to drill your holes for the fish finder and run your wires and that's where all your wires and fuses are going to be so you're going to need to know how to get to that and I was a little curious on it myself uh, figured it out so this way it'll be a lot easier for you to be able to just go ahead and uh, know exactly where it is without having to try and find it I guess um, but everything else is in the instructions just read them well uh, make sure you got some good drill bits uh, make sure you have everything that you're going to need prior to doing it and that's it and i'll see you guys next time